Amen. Wherever you have been cheated, wherever you have been denied, by the hand of God, there will be total recovery for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The hand of God is not short. It can stretch to any length. And it can stretch to any point. Wherever that blessing is, God is restoring it for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Lord, restore everything I desire. Lift up your voice and turn that into your prayer. Everything that has been stolen by the devil... You say you will restore to me the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar have eaten. My great army which I send among you. Lord, restore, restore. This morning, restore. By your power, restore. By your word, restore. Laboro Secretary Agada. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. That amen is not from you. Amen. Whatever the enemy have collected from you trickishly, cunningly, today there will be recovery for you. Amen. I said there will be recovery for you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Put those hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. God bless you. Like it's been announced in the announcement, beginning from tomorrow, is the power of reasoning. And the second service I'll be focusing on strategic thinking and third service, the miracle power of the mind. The power of reasoning. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success meditation is the act of reasoning And reasoning is the process of thinking through. Reasoning is the process of dissolving challenges. Reasoning is the act of melting problem. You melt them. You diffuse them. And we reason but with relevant facts and truths. God himself said, come, let us reason together. God is a reasonable God. let us reason together. There are some people that don't reason. Meaning they don't think. They think like foul. 
That's why you hear they call you, you get foul brain. The reason why God gave you brain is so that you can reason. People that reason, they are never stranded. People that reason, they are never cast down. Like I said, we reason with facts and with truths. By reasoning, we are calling a life. Say with me, calling a life. Our true identity. Am I a child of God? Am I born of my father or my born of my mother? You must reason your identity even in the face of the challenge. Who are you? Who born you? Are you born of God or you are born of your father and your mother? Your father and your mother is just a privileged passage way to establish your kingdom identity. People that are risen are never stranded. People that reason, they are never trapped by the wicked. People that reason, they are never depressed by challenges. They see challenges as a platform for something new to break out in their life. Concerning Jesus in Isaiah chapter 11, he said he shall not judge according to the hearing of men. Reasoning. It's unfortunate even in church some people don't reason. In the process of reasoning you know the outcome of a matter. God said come let us reason together. Abraham reasoned with God even before he started praying. Lord, if you find 50 righteous men, will you still destroy it? God said, no. It's okay. I'm coming back. It was reasoning. It was reasoning. It was negotiating. Who have watched that film, The Negotiators? See, I'm spiritual people. If I find 40, will you see this? God said, no. It was reasoning with God. It was giving God, trying to give God a picture. That uh, you don't need to destroy the righteous with the wicked. Reasoning make rich. Reasoning gives hope. Reasoning establish peace. You can reason your way out of failure. You can reason your way out of foolishness. Reasoning is a major part of you that needs to be explored. Should I tell you something? Reasoning is our principal booster of faith. When your reasoning is at work, your confidence in pressing in prayer by faith is stronger. Take for example, if truly God is my father and he is called the most high and his word told me that the cattle upon a thousand hills, they are mine. Should I be going through suffering as a beggar and he's called my father 
And Jesus said, if your father being evil knows how to give good gifts to their children, he said, how much more will your heavenly father? He said, no. God can be my father and I'm still going through this thing. It's a lie. Lord, you are my father. My story must change. He's taking reasoning to reclaim not just his identity, but his heritage. Reasoning. The strength of your faith is at the mercy of your reasoning. Reason. You can't be a good reasoner without conscious meditation. By meditation, you are now analyzing. You put this fact, you put this fact, you put this fact, you put this truth. You put this truth, you put this truth. And you now draw the conclusion, this is where this thing is supposed to be. This is what this thing is supposed to look like. This is the true picture of what I am talking about. Reason. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 1. Through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermediates with all wisdom through desire. If you want to reason properly, separate yourself. Separate yourself to a point where you are left alone with God. At that point, you will be getting what we call inspiration. Anyone that is truly reasoning enjoys what we call inspiration. You cannot be truly reasoning and lack inspiration. There is a spirit in man. At that point, the Holy Ghost is dialoguing with you. There is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty showeth him what to do. Why? He's reasoning. He's reasoning. If you are a true reasoner, there are fights that you are not supposed to fight. There are battles you are supposed to be exempted from. You don't go and carry a fight that is not your fight. If not, you get wounded before your time. Reasoning. What lawyers do is to reason matters. Let's say now, Kelly has a case with Pastor Prince. When Kelly starts talking, his talk is very sweet. Everybody will be clapping. Oh, oh, chai. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, this man is very wicked. He says his name is what? Prince. Oh. But by the time Prince now brings out his own side, they will now be looking at him with seven eyes. Not two eyes. But you didn't tell us this side. You know, People that present matter, they only present their sweet side. They present their sweet side. No matter how biased a lawyer is, it gets, there is a level the matter will be strong. He say, hmm, this thing won't collect my head. The facts are too obvious. I will advise you, go and settle out of court. Through of us. Do we have lawyers here? Say, the way this matter they go, this person, in point strong, go. 
go and beg him, settle, one and settle. You reason with facts. When reasoning is at work, when reasoning is at work, your confidence is extraordinary. When reasoning is at work, do you know it was reasoning that gave David victory over Goliath? Reasoning. Reasoning. What makes you feel that you can defeat me? If God helped me, I tear this bear with my hand. I was not wounded. I grab the lion, I squeeze his neck. You just get height, I go bring you down. Now height you get. Now height you just get. You just get height, finish. You just get height. But I will still bring you down. David risen his way into victory. Do you know by reasoning, fear can die. You can reason your way out of fear into faith. Ordinarily, just by the size of Goliath, he will have been intimidated. I said, wait a minute. I confronted the most terrible animal. I didn't die. Goliath, you only have height. You only have height. What I'm seeing now, your head, I will collect your head. Do you know by reasoning you can decide the outcome of your battles? By reasoning. What is making you feel hopeless? Look downcast? What is making you giving up? You have not risen it enough. And hear it again. The reason why you have not risen it enough is because you have not laid side by side the truths and the facts that will guarantee you the winning reasoning. You can't be a proper child of God and not be a reasoner, a thinker. A meditator thinking through. Do you know at times you need to sleep over a problem? You sleep over them. The reason why you are sleeping over them, you are looking at how you can scale through. Because every problem, there is an answer. I say there is an answer. You reason out your possibilities. You don't dwell on the impossibilities. You reason out possibilities. Why? He makes a way where there is no way. By reasoning, you are now saying, Lord, you can make a way. There is a way out. There is a way out. There is a way out to get this problem arrested. There is a way out. I remember one of my very close friends, those days were in an university, he used to say that there are many ways to kill a rat without letting the blood pour on the ground. There are many ways to dissolve a problem without raising a voice. There are many ways to silence some devils, some human devils, without raising your voice. No wonder scripture says wisdom is better than weapons of war. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. You need reasoning to win your battles. Daily we are confronted and the oppositions of life they don't come occasionally they come continuously 
No wonder Paul said, thanks be unto God, who daily causes us to triumph. Tell your neighbor, triumph. If we are confronted daily, we need to reason daily. Don't carry a suspended mind. Some people's mind are suspended. No. Your mind does not need to be suspended. Your mind ought to be at work. Your mind ought to be at work. Your mind ought to be at work. You reason your way out of every circumstance and out of every challenge. You reason your way out of every impossible situation. Because there is nothing impossible with God. It may be difficult, but not impossible. You may be reasoning now and not have all the information. All you just need to do is just to keep at it. There is a way out of 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 it. And before you know what's happening, the lines will be falling for you in pleasant places. Reasoning. Reasoning. Is your, is your brain front or back? Is your brain front or back? You don't want to talk? Why are you reasoning backward? Because some people's reasoning is always backward. Backward. Some people's reasoning is always negative. Negative. That's why I'm asking you, is your brain forward or is backward? Is forward. So every time you are thinking backward, you are reconfiguring your brain. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying now? <laughs> when God looks at you, he sees your future. What does he see? What does he see? But you, when you, you think your village. <laughs> when you, you are thinking why it didn't work. When you, you are thinking who did not help you. Who is against you. Hear me? Who is against you can never stop you from reaching where God has a mind for you. Never. You will live to see the problem, the, the problem dissolve. You will live to handle your breakthrough. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So when God is looking at you, he has seen you beyond the problem. He has seen you beyond the challenges. That's why he's saying when you pass through the fire. You can't be saying when you pass through, if you are not sure you will pass through. But God is saying you will pass through. You will pass through. Yeah. Whatever you are going through now, you will pass through that. Yeah. Concerning Jesus, scripture says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured. There is somewhere. He's seen somewhere. So he needed to belittle. Whatever is happening now, he's a uh, moi moi. It's not a serious one. He cannot stop me from reaching where God has in mind for me. For the joy that was set before him, he endured. You will get there. Yeah. I said you will get there. Yeah. When you pass through, if God is the one talking. When you pass through the fire, He will say the water shall not drown you. Tell your neighbor, relax. I want you to know this every problem has an expiring date. The day you begin to reason your way through, the problem begins to expire. Every problem has an expiring date. There is no everlasting problem. There is no everlasting challenge. Reasoning gives you the power to make your problem expire.
If a human devil is behind what you are going through, you can inspire them. You cause them to inspire. You bring them to the state of non-entities. Every problem expires. You render your problem useless by your reasoning. Tell your neighbor, you must reason. You need reasoning to triumph. Reasoning is one major part you cannot do without. It is a major part of you. They needed to trap Jesus. Is it not written in the law that he that committed this sin should be stoned to death? Jesus knew that these were looking for what they were used to catch him. Is that right? What as at that point in time Jesus was reasoning, he was not doing, Father Lord, give me the answer. He was reasoning. He rose up and looked at them. One of you that have not committed a sin, be the first to throw the stone. Immediately he caught all of them. They dropped their stone. I don't walk up. I don't walk up. If you have not committed a sin, be the first to throw the stone. Everybody dropped their stone now. No, we may go catch. Everybody took off. Reasoning. Say with me, reasoning. But hear me, in your future, there are unlimited possibilities. You are not even saying amen like one that believes. Your problem has turned your head that you don't even believe there are possibilities. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Some people, their problem have turned their head that even if you are telling them, there is a way out, they say, until I see and koro koro. Koro koro. Do you know, in the process of reasoning, you picture your possibilities. That is why God said, Jeremiah was yes thou. Only one that is reasoning. If you are not in the process of reasoning, you can't be seeing possibilities. You can't. But in the act of reasoning, you begin to see it can work. 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 What's yes thou? He said, I see the rod of an almond tree. He said, thou has well seen. He said, we hasten my war to perform it. So by reasoning, we picture our possibilities. Because ahead of us, unlimited possibilities. Unlimited breakthroughs. The part of the jaws is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. By reasoning, you can see it. Your tomorrow will be better than your today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. You reason your way into unlimited breakthrough, unlimited possibilities. You, you reason your way into more success, greater success. Papa said, I've not had a better last year. Your yesterday cannot be better than your tomorrow. Never. You can never. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? God is not taking you backward, He's taking you forward. You must reason it. You must reason it. I'm only getting better. I'm only getting better and better.
It may look as if you are beclouded with plenty. Say with me, plenty. plenty. Challenges. But scripture says, for we know. For we know. All things work together for good. To them that love God and are called according to his purpose. For we know. You must know it. I say you must know it. Whatever God allows you to go through is because he knows that there are some people that will go through it. You will now be the one telling them we have been through it before. We have been there before. Relax yourself. There is hope for you. Tomorrow will be better. You will not die with this problem. So you don't just go through things because God was not aware. He's aware. For we know. Let me give you a classic example. Joseph had a very fantastic dream. He woke up one morning and said, Mike, I saw all of you bow to me. He said, Papa, you, you follow. Papa, you follow, you follow. You follow. Papa, you said, I see you, you bow. They were seeing it as an arrogant statement. But you know what? God only showed him the end. He didn't show him the process. Didn't show him the process. Look at what happened now. The brothers now conspired and said, This guy, his pride is getting too much. Let's throw him inside the pit. In fact, let's kill him. Reuben said, No, don't kill him. Just throw him inside the pit. From the pit, later they now brought him out and sold him as a slave. Is that the fulfillment of dream? Does it look like someone that is going forward? From being sold as a slave, he entered problem. He enter prison. Potiphar's wife almost killed her. Put her for trouble. Are you wrong saying now? Potiphar's wife said that the guy almost raped me. Are you seeing trouble? Is that one positive dream? He didn't look like someone that was going to fulfill destiny. But finally, finally, God only showed him the end. He didn't show him the process. But in all of this, he still believed in his dream. He still held on to his dream. Now let me tell you something. Whatever your dream is, your wisdom will grow in that direction. David, I mean, Joseph needed to get to the throne. And God now baptized him with the wisdom for interpretation of dreams. So when he met the buckler, he was able to interpret the dream. And when the buckler was going back, he said, when you get to Pharaoh's house, remember me. When you go back, read the scripture, he, said, he told him, remember me. And when he got there, he said, there is one guy I met, he can interpret this your dream. I also had a dream, he interpreted it for me so he can interpret your own. They now sent for him and he interpreted the dream. After he interpreted the dream, Pharaoh said, There is none wise and discreet as thou art. Apart from me, you are the next. He said, Take this ring, the scepter of power and authority. You are now in charge. Finally, finally, when the brothers came, he looked at him and said, You remember me? Today, not today. <laughs> you remember me? You now you push me inside. You don't jam me today. You say, I am that Joseph. I am that Joseph. When you hear that name, Joseph, if now you, you go take off. You say, Man, this guy don't catch us. I am that Joseph. You meant it for evil, but God turned it around for our deliverance. For we know all things work it together. For good to them that love God. So whatever you are going through now, all you just need to do is to be increasing in your reasoning. People that reason, they don't aspire. You can't. There is no everlasting problem. By reasoning, you begin to dissolve them one by one. Whether spiritual, material, family, career. 
reasoning is a way out. God will always want you to think, to meditate. Business is not moving well. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, relationship is always ending in disappointment. What is the problem? Am I the cause? What is really going on? You must reason. Lord, why is there no peace in this house? Why well, am I always having problems with my husband or with my wife? Reasoning. Reason. It takes two to fight. Am I saying the truth? If somebody tell me, you're the craze. You're happy like coconut. He needs a response from me. I decide whether I respond, whether my head looks like coconut or not. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Simple. If it you are a fool, me, my head like coconut, okay, I go show you today. She been me they talk. <laughs> He's only confirming that his head is truly coconut. It's as simple as that. People can write to a man about you. It's wicked. If they carry women, they never see one. No. Now only text then they see that one. They even say that Papa carry women. One says she will publish it on Google. They say, go ahead. If you are not dead, I am not sent. They say, oh, manna. It takes a fool to respond to a fool. It takes a fool to respond to a fool. It takes a fool to believe a lie. If what you have is true, confront the person. No, don't pocket lie and be behaving as if it's true. Go ahead and publish it. Monkey. <laughs> Papa said, they've been abusing me. Have you had my response? Once. Never. Last year, a lady cooked up stories to defame Pastor Ibiomi. That Ibiomi has been going out with her, this, 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 that. When people know you, there are things that they cannot believe about you. They had it. They kept quiet. They began to investigate. They now knew it was a set of, the girl they look for money. But instead of getting the money, now course she parked. She parked the course. At the end, he still came and confessed. That will let you know you are a confirmed order. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, reason. reason. Don't behave like a fool before people. Reason, 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 reason. Reason, reason. Think, think. When you hear matter, think. Before you die for nothing. Think, think, think. Does it look like the truth? Can this truth, can this fact be justified? Because it's not true. Can it be justified? Somebody brought a matter one day. I asked him one question. Can I call the person? He said, no, I'm just giving you for your information. I gave him, I said, hear me. If you call this line again, you get a cause. I know you are new. I know you are new in Lafayette. I'm just giving you for your information. You call this line again, I curse you and you will see it. I went for a mission inspection in, uh, in Benin, in Wasota. One woman just squeezed the number that I should, call, I should call this line. It will give me all the facts 
about this church and how the pastor is behaving. So I, I said, okay, I don't catch one mumu now. I called him. I said, can you meet me in church? He said, no, can we meet outside? I said, they grace. My assignment is to church, not outside. Show you have facts about the church to nail the pastor. Oh, yeah, come. He never came till I left. I spent one week. He no call. When I call him, he say, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Devils. Because if he had come, I will sit pastor down. I sit, I talk. That's the way you tell me talk. And you know, that's what people don't like. That's what they don't like. Tell your neighbor, you can't fail again. Now, if money is not in your hand, it's only temporary. I say it's only temporary. It's never final. It's only a why. Very soon, you will be sponsoring children in schools. You are not ordained to be a beggar. And you will never end up as one. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? You need thinking. You need your thinking to be balanced to be happy. The reason why some people are not happy is because they are not thinking well. They are not thinking well. There is no challenge any member can, that can give me that will give me sleepless night for 48 hours. For what? For what? Jesus died for the whole world. I can't die for you. He has died. I don't need to die for that person, man. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Papa! Pack the person problem one place and they're going forward. There are many things to be done. Now, if you, if you allow unreasonable thinking to becloud your mind, you have slowed down your pace. No wonder when rubbish thoughts engulf your mind, check it, even your immune system begins to collapse. I'm not a doctor, but I know what I'm telling you. You need your reasoning to be sound for, your, for you to enjoy vitality. Do you know why I'm following Papa and Pastor Jeremy and Bishop Abiyah? They are in the class of supersonic thinkers. Supersonic. Supersonic. When I mean supersonic, supersonic. They are not thinking like normal human beings. They are thinking like spirits. You enter the realm where you decide a matter. Where you decide your outcome. You can decide the outcome of your family. If your family is going to enjoy better days, you decide it now by your thinking. And as you are thinking it, you are creating an, Im and you are creating an imagination. And you are meditating this how I want and my family will look like. You know, when something gets registered in subconscious, in your subconscious, Proverbs 23 verse 7, as a man thinketh in his heart, you will not feel again. Yeah. Your faith is at the mercy of of your reasoning. Reason where? Reason where? Do you know reasoning can bring you out of inferiority complex? Every time you begin to feel this person is better than me. There are no two human beings like you. In the whole world. There are no two human beings that have the same fingerprints. I am too unique. I am too blessed. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. Stop feeling inferior. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Now, let me say this. In line with your recovery, you cannot recover your destiny, your identity, and everything God has in store for you until you know who you are. Who you are.
I'm walking in power. Puzzle. Tell your neighbor you must know who you are. In line with recovery, there are seven things that Jesus went to the cross to recover for us. Number one was power. What is the lamb that was slain to receive what? Power. Revelation 5 and verse 12. So Jesus received it and gave it to us. All that the Father has given to me have I given to you. I give unto you power. So one thing that must be recovered in your life is power. If you are powerless, you will suffer more harms in the hand of the devil. You will suffer torture. Jesus recovered power. He said, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and upon what? Scorpion. But your identity must be recovered first before you walk in power. Lion does not fear the size of elephant. True of us. Because he knows what is inside. It's not the skin that makes him a lion. It's what is inside. So the first thing Jesus did to, for us is to recover power. By dying on the cross and on resurrection day, he said, tarry in Jerusalem until you be and with power from on high. For you to recover your heritage of power, you need to be in line with prayer. <laughs> pray. No wonder Jesus said, pray without ceasing. Men ought always to pray and not to do what? Faint. As long as you remain in power, you flow in blessing. It takes power to get wet. For that shall remember the Lord that God, for it is He that giveth the power to get. You can be a giver and not be blessed. Why? Because there are forces that are fighting the blessing from reaching you. So you need power to wedge them away, to silence every satanic oppression. No wonder there is need for prayer and fasting in our lives. There is need for prayer and fasting. Because prayer and fasting brings us in line with empowerment from on high. He said, thou shalt receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man make a tremendous power. If you lack power, your destiny will be limited. You will suffer limitation in life. You are not lacking power. You are lacking prayer. When forces at work against you, they kill your appetite for prayer. No wonder when we come for prayer, some people will be very serious the first day. After the first day, you will see them again. It's the demon that wants to keep them on the same spot. When prayer is going on on a hot note, who has phone there? Bring phone. Or bring that eyeglass, bring that eyeglass. Hello, hello. We are praying, we are praying. We are praying, we are praying. When I finish the prayer, I will call you. You are not in prayer. I say you are not in prayer. Prayer can be going on. Maybe the person is in choir or is in CC. You will carry his phone. He's reading WhatsApp. Prayer is going on. He'll be doing his head like a death. <laughs> to be faking it as if he's praying. Who are you fooling? It's an abomination. Can you enter the office of your DG or your commissioner and you are answering phone call? Understand. You are in prayer. Service is going.
going on? This person is looking Facebook in church. You are only punishing yourself the more. Prayer is going on. When we are through with the prayer, we call you. We are, we, are, we are praying now. You are not praying. You are playing. Because prayer is the passageway to power. And no wonder the enemy wants to get you distracted. No wonder he wants to get you limited. He wants to get you limited. He wants to get you frustrated. He doesn't want you to arrive at where God has a mind for you. No wonder you are suffering lack of appetite for prayer. Anytime we call for prayer, some people think that, eh, that they are praying for the church. Pray for which church? You are praying for yourself. It's for yourself. I, I go yesterday, I can't go today again. For what? For what? Every day, prayer, prayer, prayer. Should I advise you? Don't come. Do you know what? One week you stay out of prayer, three months of depression. You will not be eating, eating chicken and fried rice in the dream. Because your power base have gone low. So the enemy will come heavy to oppress you. Am I saying the truth? In the wilderness, anytime the flame is high, the beast stay far. Anytime the fire is low, the beast come closer. So you need to be in prayer to remain in power. No wonder the enemy is angry anytime he's prayed. Go and check whether he's praying. Go and check. Go and check. Pastor Mike, go and check. Go and check. Benga, go and check. Go and check. Check what he's praying. Check what he's praying. Winch. As if you are the one answering the prayer. When did you become God PA? <laughs> you need to be in prayer to remain in power. Jesus has paid a price for you, but your platform must not suffer an intercessor. Everyone, every one of us here will have a platform. You are the platform for your family. Your family's breakthrough is at the mercy of your prayer. So don't toy with your platform. Don't live careless. Prayerlessness is not induced by devil. It's your decision. And one of the things that Jesus restored and recovered for us is riches. Say to your neighbor, riches. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 he was made poor so that through his poverty we might become rich tell your neighbor rich and God has blessed Abraham in all things in silver in gold, in cattle. And he has blessed him in all things. You have a heritage of riches. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. You will be rich. I say you will be rich. Amen. I say you will be rich. Amen. Your background does not cancel your riches. Your background does not cancel your riches. But hear me. Jesus has paid the price for you to recover from poverty, from lack, from losses. But now you need to walk your way into riches. No wonder scripture says, work out your salvation. You work it out. This thing is in my destiny, so I'm working towards it. Riches is in my future, so I'm working towards it. 
you begin to walk towards it. But should I tell you this also? You never walk into riches until you have a vision for riches. Everything works by vision. What's yes thou? The only thing some people are seeing in their future pata pata is three bedroom flat. In fact, the moment they build the three bedroom flat, they say, I'm made for life. God will give to you as far as your eyes can see. The beauty three bedroom flat are made for life, man. Made for life. You are not made for life. In your destiny, there are estates. Estates. You better say a good amen. amen. Because you will get there. Amen. Some people are not even saying amen. amen. Because they are imagining me. Me? You mean me? Yes, you. I mean you. Yeah. Scripture says, it does not seem to us what we shall be like, but when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Now let me tell you this. God knows you have a destiny of riches. And that is why by divine connectivity, he will be connecting you with people that will be moving you towards riches. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. Yeah. Every plan God has for your life, there is someone he must bring into your life to make it true. To make it real. So you must expect it. You must believe it. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You must believe it. You must expect it. God has planned it. I wish above all things. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he said, for I know the plan that I think towards you. Plans to prosper you. And not to harm you. To give you a future. A hope. And an expected end. You will not end where your father ends. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Where your father ends, you will surpass it. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And lastly, blessing. I will mention blessing in all the services. You have a destiny of unlimited blessing. The moment the blessing strike, doors begin to open. Opportunities begin to answer. When your heavens of blessing opens, you become unstoppable. Where others go and fail, when you go, you succeed. Why? The blessing is speaking upon your life. Balak said unto him, I have not received... I've received a commandment to bless. I cannot cause. Rise up to your feet. You are going to pray. Lord, whatever make me think failure. is only reducing your faith. The strength of your faith is at the mercy of your thinking. Whatever makes me think defeated. Whatever makes me think hopeless. Lord, heal my mind today. Beginning from now, I reason my way forward. I reason my way into success. I reason my way into victory. I reason my way into success. Into my marital destiny. Into my fruitfulness. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Whatever makes me think defeated. Think hopeless. Father, heal my mind today. Heal my mind today. I plead the blood of Jesus. Every negative thinking that has reduced me, that has turned me into a failure by the blood of Jesus. I destroy the bait of the wicked. I destroy the manipulations of the enemy. I have the mind of Christ. The mind of victory. The mind of blessing. The mind of progress. The mind of triumph. I am not a failure. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to remain frustrated. I refuse to remain stagnated. Receive 
Rihandolo Shakotela. I refuse to be where my enemy wants me to be. used to be at the bottom. I have a place at the top. I will not end up at the bottom. I have a stake at the top. I must get to my topmost top. In the name of Jesus, I must get to my topmost top. Zerusha pobre kleketelia Nerobo shikoteli nanda Elando preketuli areta Mero periketone suza Thank you my father In Jesus name we have prayed All eyes closed or heads bow the prodigal son reasoned. Why am I suffering myself? He said, I will arise and go to my father. Let him just consider me as one of his slave servants. But when his father saw him, he said, No, you are more than a slave. Come, 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 you are more than a slave. Come. He said, Oh, that is, um, please slaughter cows, man. There is party this night. My son is back. He reasoned his way. Out of shame. The reason is way out of reproach. You are here, you are not born again. Satan does not guarantee a comfortable life. Neither does he guarantee you a glorious future. No one strains a chicken to give him a bedroom. He's only preparing him for slaughter. You don't train a chicken that very soon you put him inside the air conditioned room. You are preparing him for slaughter. Even if life feed him six times in a day, slaughter is waiting for him. You are here, you are not born again, but you want to make it right with Jesus. Just like the prodigal son, I will go back to my father. Put your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus name I pray. If you pray this prayer with me. Wherever you are. Put your hands together for Jesus. Carry your back and your Bible and come forward. I want to pray with you now. I want more God bless you. If you are coming, come with me. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Come quickly before I pray for everyone. I want more of you.